Um, Greek life is a mess right now. Um, there's a lot of drama going on between um, the sororities and just everything surrounding that, a lot of uh, racism and sexism and uh, homophobia and all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's, it's a big mess. Um, my, my impression is, is that uh, they're pretty quiet and I haven't noticed them, so I, I don't have any like sort of positive or negative opinions there. Um, I was a part of Greek life on campus. Um, my, most of my experience in it was very negative. Um, a lot of it was positive though, mostly because of the friends that I made and the people I met. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I, uh, I don't actually know much about Greek life on campus. Um, I am familiar with a couple of fraternities and sororities, but I can't say I know too much about them. I'm anti-Greek life, just gonna put that out there. Um, I think it's rooted in a lot of oppressive systems. Um, I'm, I haven't had any, I don't really know anything about Greek life on this campus. I don't really pay attention to that, but I would say I haven't had any negative experiences here except for some recent things that have happened, but overall I'm, I would say I'm anti-Greek life. I don't know. I've always, because um, I actually work for the Q Center and like I am continuously trying to think of ways to get students involved and it's still a struggle like to find ideas to like figure that out. So like, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Um, I feel like a lot of times that falls on student leaders. Um, I actually am a part of different organizations on campus and a student leader myself. Um, and a lot of times as people of color, we create our own spaces. So that's my experience with it. Um, and the university should definitely support more initiatives from students from marginalized communities so they can create those spaces together. I guess holding a lot of events on campus and um, working to engage students through different like student life activities, um, having more um, homecoming events and things like that. I remember my freshman year we didn't, we had a pep rally and there were about 60 students there. So definitely things like that, promoting events more um, and, and driving student engagement. Keep them updated about like recent events and like getting more people involved in? Uh, well, I know like the RAs, they kind of have like their programs to like help get their residents more involved. So probably having more like programs like that, but for like all students, cause I know some are commuters, so they don't really get a chance to be a part of those programs, but something like that works out pretty good. I actually was so unsatisfied that I now liked campus because I wasn't going to pay that much money for, you know, parking my car on campus like twice a week. No, um, absolutely not. I live at The Verge and it takes me about 30 minutes to find a good spot. And I also go straight from class to work and a lot of times I don't have, I have to walk about like 10 to 15 minutes to my car and I am late to work most of the time. Uh, as a sophomore, no, because last year, having to walk up from like the freshman lot and there's like, sometimes you have spaces, but you more likely have a spot. And then now it's like a lot more people on campus. And then it's like, oh, you think, you know, being like a resident now, you have more options and more space. It's not really like that, but I mean, there's definitely room for improvement. <laughs> definitely not. I hate it. Um, I've I'm always coming to campus. I live on campus, but when I'm coming coming home from work off campus, I can never find parking. I live in the woods, and I, I'm always having to drive around multiple times just to find a parking space. I just paid $200 for a parking pass for the entire year, and like half the time, there's not even parking in the non-resident parking. And honestly, for the first week, I was parking in faculty because I was like, literally, like, there's so many spots open, and then, with like the, like one of the Cheryl parking decks is like closing or something. And I'm like, you literally had all summer to work on this and you start on the 
what, first, second week of school, um, we've already had to fight for spots. Like legitimately, like people would stand in parking spots just to save one for like their friends or whatever. And like, that's ridiculous on its own. I feel like there could be more parking on campus. So far I've been lucky enough that I haven't had to like look for space, but I know a lot of people who struggle with parking.